y'all welcome back for another video my name is jazz as you know i make lifestyle videos showing you guys products everyday life and just trying stuff that i do in my daily life so it's been a while since i did a i don't know why i'm talking like this a healthy journey lifestyle video so i kind of refrained from posting a little bit because i did fall off and if you didn't know i just got um back from vacation from atlanta if you guys haven't checked out that vlog you can check it out Currently, I'm on my way to the gym now to get myself back right. After that trip, I fell off. And even before the trip, trying to work and all that stuff, I fell off with the gym. I was trying to do a little bit more on the nutrition side and kind of got sidetracked. And I realized I haven't really been making complete separate vlogs for it, but I've been making stuff on my weekly vlogs and all that. If you guys watch those videos. But today, I kind of want to do a slight update starting off me going to the gym. I'm telling you, this food and the stuff I ate while I was out there made us so sick. Like even now, not to be graphic, I've been going to the bathroom non-stop all day. And I know I didn't really eat today either. And I went running around with my mom and it took longer than what I thought. So I really didn't eat anything but a hash brown and then I had like coffee and a little bit of water. So that wasn't very good. I got very nauseous and stuff. And then I just ate before I went out. My mom got some chicken and I had a little bit of potato salad just to get something in me but I was feeling so sick to the point where I almost couldn't even come to the gym like I was feeling bad about to get a migraine because I didn't drink anything either and I know I was somewhat dehydrated so I sipped one of those uh, electrolyte drinks and all that long story short I'm back I'm on my way to the gym and I'm feeling better actually so that's why I wanted to get this part out because I'm thinking about doing a weigh-in again sometime soon but basically long story short I'm just trying to get back in the gym staying active I know I fell off and I heard someone else say they don't like when they, um, influencers or people who make these videos, when they fall off, they don't show any of those down moments, like the bad moments. They just show kind of when they got back to the point where they were or better and then maybe insert some clips or just talk about it. So what I'm going to do is actually talk about it because it can't happen. You know, that's something I was dealing with inconsistency and stuff. So my thing was, I know it is a weight loss journey, but at the same time, I'd rather build healthy habits because that's going to sustain longer and you know like the activities daily living and stuff it's going to be you know the benefits are going to last longer if you know what i'm trying to say i'm still kind of out of it so i'm trying to kind of you know pull it up and get it out for you guys but it's not quite working the way i wanted it to but you guys get where i'm going with this it's better to do for the long run than these fast quick things because when you decline it's going to skyrocket back the opposite direction whatever you're working with so weight loss if you lose weight fast once you stop you're going to gain the weight back fast again so you know what i'm trying to say vice versa like that so this is starting off me getting back there i'm going to do i noticed i was going to the gym a lot i, I touched on this in another video back in may i was going a lot june barely like two and then by the time it was july i didn't go at all so this is the last day in july i think i went one time before actually but we're gonna try to break these habits and do good for this year i got a lot of stuff coming up and you know having a healthy mindset body physically healthy and all that is only going to help me even further so that's basically what i'm trying to do i'm driving now i made me a little shake that made me feel better but yeah that's basically it for the update sorry to start the vlog off driving talking to you guys not even giving you really any eye contact or anything like that but you guys see where i'm coming from what's going on i might not show too much of the editing of the editing I might not show too much of me working out unless you guys want to see a full vlog of that or i might try another one later because lately i've been trying to focus really on doing the workouts even though it's okay to show you guys at the same time here and there i'm gonna have a couple vlogs showing you guys and then i want to show some stuff of like food so i might put this in this vlog a salad that i got when i was in atlanta i want to try to make it at home hopefully it'll kind of be the same we'll see but yeah i'm gonna be at the gym soon i got a little ways to drive and then I just want to regroup, put my music back on, get me pumped up for the gym, and then I'll come back and talk with you guys, because I know I just talked your ears off probably like five minutes. Hopefully you're still listening to me. Chances are you probably are, you're probably not, but we're going to go to this gym, and then I'll get back with you guys after, and we'll go from there, I guess. All right, here's the salad so far without the meat. Everything looks good. I made my mom a small one. Don't judge me. I don't want hot chicken in it, so I tried to cool the chicken off. It's a little hack. Let's see if it works. I don't know, but I'll show you the final little peek. That actually looks really good. All right, got the leftover fruit in here, the container that we finally got to use. I don't think this is going to work right for that because it's not really airtight, but it's good enough for now just to keep everything neat 
Guys, just got back from the gym. I got a couple things to try, like a, not even a haul, because I want to make some new recipes and try some stuff on like TikTok hacks. So I got this popcorn. I don't know why. We wanted to have like watch movies or something maybe. So I got some popcorn. I want it like buttery and salty, so I might have to just add a little bit of salt, even though I know it's not good, but I just have a taste for that. And then I got me some kiwi, sun golden kiwi. I haven't had these in a while, but these are actually really good. I like these way better than regular kiwis. And then the next recipe will be another shake recipe. So I have an apple and I have a peach, but you guys will see that later. But I'm gonna show you my little TikTok hack. I got some chicken that I'm gonna clean and marinate and cook. And then you guys will see what I'm gonna do after that. Oh, I forgot to mention, there was a mess up with my order. So I ended up being able to keep these capers. Now I have to look up, guys comment below, what do you put capers on or what do you make with them? I have to look it up online. I have somewhat of an idea. Of course, Italian, so maybe some kind of Italian food or dish or something. I don't know. I'm going to Google some recipes, look on TikTok too, Pinterest, all that stuff. But if you guys know one, comment below and let me know. All right, guys. It's a couple days later. Please excuse. I'll cut it down a little bit this way. I don't have my mic with me. It's super hot. My car is saying 104. I just left Planet Fitness for the second time this week. The last one I went with my mom. I don't know. Honestly, I was talking so much in the beginning clip. I don't even know what I put in here, but... <coughs> god i worked out hard today so i haven't been showing you guys my workouts but i will put probably screenshots of what i did so you guys can get an idea and i'm also posting down my instagram stories as well so if you follow me on there you'll see that but what i was trying to say before i don't know if i said it is i'm basically trying to do things daily and weekly of course like being active and i seen someone work out a few days and the rest days they um like walk for like 15 minutes or 20 minutes on whatever you know setting just to stay active for the day so i actually did that yesterday because i didn't work out the day before that i went to the gym with my mom and as you can see i tried to do these sit-ups i want to try things that makes me uncomfortable and it was somewhat uncomfortable hard but it was actually fun once i tried it but i'll let you guys see it y'all look at this mess right here bro this is harder than i thought <laughs> Watch it, y'all. Can I do this? Yep. So yeah, you saw how that was. That's something I want to um, incorporate in. I've also been doing the assisted pull-up machine. I like that and the dips. It's very, very hard, but I like that. But like I said, I'm going to plug in the workout what I did. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys or not, but I did go swimming the other day with my family. little bit 
a fun end because my nephew's gonna be starting high school soon and that's gonna be a very exciting so you know their summer break is almost over they go back early so that's another thing um i tried a few recipes if i did not show you guys that i'm telling i don't know where this vlog was going i just know i wanted to update you guys but i tried this um new chicken teriyaki recipe and i also made a tiktok hat with these pot stickers cook i'm about to cook this chicken uh-huh and then I'm gonna go ahead with the pot stickers and the air fryer. If you guys want to see the full video and how they turned out, I'm probably gonna show you the final result. But if you want to see the whole thing and how I did it, check out my Instagram reel, and I'll show you guys on there. Okay, here's how everything turned out. The chicken actually is my new favorite teriyaki recipe. I don't know, maybe I'll show you guys later what I put in. I just experimented and tried something different. My mouth is watering. I can't even talk. But the pot stickers, can you hear? I didn't show you, I almost missed, but you guys can hear. Very crispy. Now I'll just do a taste test. So yeah, everything turned out really good. I actually want to make that again. I gotta turn my air on, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to hurry up and get as much in to tell you guys, to catch you guys up on what happened. And I also gotta get out of here before traffic starts picking up, but I made some chicken last night um, that we got from Costco. It was actually pre-marinated Peruvian chicken. And I made my sauce, of course, and some homemade fries. I'm thinking about going to have that for lunch or possibly like a side salad or something. I'm gonna see how that works. And I wanna make another one of those oat shakes because let me tell you, that shake I made was so good. I don't even care if I can't have peaches. I'm gonna make another one. Hopefully I have a peach at home because I'm gonna make another one. Let me call two orders and see what she says and then I'll get back with you guys and see what goes on from there. All right, so guys, here's the little thing that i got set up to try for this smoothie recipe i'm going with half of a peach i forgot the ingredients is listed i need ground flax seeds so i'm going to end up grinding it with my little uh mortar whatever it's called and i just picked this up i couldn't find my milk anywhere but i kind of want to try this now because it's zero sugar it's still vanilla but i try to get less sugar as possible it might not taste good with cereal but for drinks and stuff, it probably would taste really good because it's more healthy, if you want to say. All right, y'all, I did the oats and all that. Now I have to do ground flax seeds. So this may take a while. I'll show you guys after. But this is all I'm going to do, a combination of this and a little bit of this. And we shall see the powder after. Ow, it actually looks really cute. You know how to plate it and do something. I didn't taste it yet, but I had to make it look cute. I'm kind of scared to taste it because it looks a little thick. I'm not going to lie, but... It might taste good, we'll see. All right, I'm gonna do a live taste test. My mom ran up the steps just now because she thought I was gonna have her taste that. I thought she went pretty fast, that's why she said she ran, but I feel like it might be good, but I'm just scared because it just looks thick, let's see. Mm. That's actually really good. I just need more milk because it's too thick, that's all. But it's, it's really good. Actually, this might be under the ginger man, just right below the ginger man, but it tastes really good. I think if I had vanilla protein powder, because I only have cookie butter, it would taste way better. So I give this a nine out of 10. I just gotta add more milk and it's good. See, you are scared. Yeah, it's just real thick. It's actually perfect. Now I know this is supposed to be healthy, but I can guarantee you this is probably nasty. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Special dark is dark with no sugar at all. I just made it cassava. Okay guys, days later, I'm back in the kitchen for a little food review. Side note, I just washed my hair and all that stuff. 
I broke out. I finally figured out why my face was breaking out. Of course, one, I needed to drink a whole lot more water because after that trip, like I said, part of this health stuff, I had to get back on that track of drinking a lot of water. That was one thing. And also this oil that I used, I just tried it again earlier and everything started coming back again. So that's one thing I'm dealing with. Hopefully to clear up soon with, you know, the water and all that stuff. But I just want to say, like, I'm feeling better now. Um, I didn't actually work out today, but I'm thinking about going tomorrow. Row, maybe or tonight walk on the treadmill don't quote me I don't know one of those but as of right now we're gonna try a new recipe with the pita bread that I got so like I said you guys know this is hopefully I'm showing you gluten free wheat free vegan free all that stuff and I think I made this spicy BLT before I'm doing like a spicy BLT inspired BLT I found the recipe from cook yourself then it used to be this TV show on um, the Food Network I think one of those morning shows they used to have this spicy BLT which is just like mayonnaise pepper and cayenne pepper to make the sauce I think I showed you guys before on my channel I'm trying to think I may have either way if not you guys didn't see I'm gonna make it now and try it with this pita bread to see if it actually tastes good and I might make a TikTok out of it so we'll see but Let's get going with this cooking and I'll show you guys the final result. tomatoes that my dad grew in his garden that we're finally going to use. Can you guys see the difference between the store brought one and then the fresh one from the garden? I don't have accurate measurement, I just go by the looks. I like to see some of the black pepper and then see flakes of red, which is the cayenne pepper, which I put enough pepper, but maybe a little bit of cayenne pepper. Boom, pizza number one. Do I have to eat this? this way instead. Hers looks prettier than mine, I think. Hers looks better. Okay, so here's what my plate looks like. It turned out pretty good, as I can see. I haven't tasted the bread yet, but you guys see the brand there. I'm gonna do a little taste test. I'm super hungry, I gotta hurry up and eat. I can't even talk. All right, I gotta hurry up and try this food. I do have a Zivia drink that I'm gonna have. It is caffeine free and zero, zero sugar. But I'm gonna hurry up and eat this food. I hope you guys kinda enjoy this update to get an insight on what's going on. Just to know everything on this journey is not gonna be perfect. You have to go at your own pace and kinda do things that'll last in the long run. So I wasn't gonna go too crazy with the workouts and all that extra stuff, which I kinda 
thought I would, but it's summertime. I wanted to have fun and all that, but at the same time, I'm still going to try to stay active and all that and trying to follow the diet as much as I can. When I say diet, I mean the low FODMAP diet and of course eating better and healthier food. So I've been cooking a lot of foods at home, doing little mindful things like walking and just staying active daily. So that's one thing that helps, but I will give you guys another update soon, but that's just it for now. Just kind of get you guys caught up. So you guys know where I'm at and what's going on if you guys follow me for that. But again, that's going to wrap up this video. So make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.